Hey guys, I'm about with another FIFA 13 um, real life squad predictor slash squad builder. In this episode, it will be Liverpool. I believe this is episode 6. And the formation I have picked for this team is a 4 3 2 1. This is going to be oh crap, a weird team, I'm going to be saying, because it isn't the average Liverpool side. Some of the players are, but the side isn't. In net. And also, I'm going to try as less biased as I can. Reina. He's a good keeper, one of the best in the Premier League, but he isn't. He's clumsy, as you can say. Like when he played the first game against Arsenal, I think it was last season, season before, caught the ball and threw it in his own net. He cost us that game. He is a clumsy keeper. Right back is Glenn Johnson. Now, I'm going to take it to the 80 rated because he. He's a good player and he played good, well in the Euros. But I don't think he's worth an 83, maybe an 81. Because he's not that rated. Now the two centre-backs are obvious picks. But it's the rating that I think they should be. Now, Martin Skirtle's an 84 rated. And Daniel Agger, the 85 rated. Now, other people may say... Well, they're a bit too high for Skirtle and Agger. But if you think, they are both brilliant defenders. They both, Skirtle, a bit clumsy, and Agger, a bit clumsy. But they're both fast. They both can defend. They can both head. They can shoot. They have got the pace on people. They are beautiful defenders. No, not in that way. But they are good defenders. And left back is... Jose Enrique, the 80 version, because he played well last season, but not as good as he could have. Now, I know some of these players might not play in the league because they're either injured, but that is, this is the team I think we should have. Now, the other first centre mid is Steven Gerrard as an 87 rated version. He shouldn't. Have got, he hasn't gone up. And I don't think he's going to go down. He still is one of the best midfielders in the world. Why? Because he's over, not all of his things are brilliant. Look at them all. They're all equal. He's over 70 is everything. He is a good player. Coming into the centre. Didn't play last season. But is an amazing player. Lucas Lever. Right, I didn't like him at first because he gave away the shabby free kicks and everything. But thinking about it, he still is a strong player. Because half of the time when he gets stuff right, it is immaculately right. I gave him the 82 rated because he is a good player. Ask most people, he still stands out on this side as a good player. And he's still young. Coming into the left side, if I can put an M, is Charlie Adam. Um, scroll down. There we go. Um, the 80 rated, because last season I don't think he played as well as he could have, but still a good player. All of his stats are also as equal, like Gerard, but Gerard's obviously better. His pace is letting him down a bit, but he's still, as you can see, a good player. Now looking at the midfield and the defence plus the goalkeeper, it looks like a strong side, which could play a top 4 to 7 finish, maybe 3rd if we push it. But off the first game of West Brom, it doesn't look like it's going to be any above four. Probably a seventh finish because we lost 3-0. Now, right wing is Fabio Barini. 74, I would give him a 76 because last season he played great for um, Roma. And then on the left wing, a player who hasn't been changed to teams yet, but Asaid. So, Asaid and Barini... Um, or how can I say this? They both strengthen each other in different ways. Asaid's faster but and got better dribbling. Barini can shoot better. And he'll have be better long shots. He'll have better heading. But um, Asaid will have better passing. 
It's this team's just the strength in the mix. But on up front is Suarez, the seven eighty seven, because he no doubt about him, he is a brilliant player. Now looking at the side, it is a strong side. Standing out of Skirtle, Agat, Gerard, Suarez. And the other players just backing it up. Asaid, I cannot wait to see in action. He is a beautiful player. He used to play as him on FIFA 12. Still do, but I can't because it's broke. But I never thought Liverpool would have bought him. We bought him and I am over the moon. I am enjoyed because we have bought him. This is the Liverpool side. A beautiful side. I would say top four finish. But off the first game... I'd say 6th to 5th, challenging with a probably Everton. Now, thanks for watching this, guys. If you have any comments on any of the videos on this one, please be sure to tell me on what you would like to change and what team you would put instead of mine. Thanks for watching. Next episode will be Manchester City. There will be some commercial ratings in that. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.